Hello fellow fragrance lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fragrance from a house that I have newly discovered, never talked about it before on my channel, had never even smelled samples from this line of fragrances and the perfume I'm going to be talking about is Zerjoff's Casamirati's Bouquet Ideal. Ideal. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. I'm not really sure, but I was intrigued by this fragrance because, you know, this Zerjoff fragrances get talked about in the perfume community quite a bit. They are expensive. I almost just didn't want to even go there because knowing me and my love of fragrance and really good niche fragrances, it's like opening Pandora's box. And I'm really not in the financial position right now to be exploring such a pricey fragrance house. But I don't know, I had to see kind of what the hype is about. So I've never smelled anything from the line and I narrowed it down to, I wanted to try a Casamirati fragrance. So the Casamirati line, I guess you would consider a subdivision of Zerjoff and it's a line based on classic Italian, perfumery. So I love the bottles. I love the packaging. I'm Italian. So I'm just a sucker for like anything about Italian perfumery, like Francesca Bianchi perfumes. So I don't know. I was intrigued. And the one that stuck out to me was Bouquet Ideal because I was, I don't even remember which video I was watching, but somewhere I heard the note breakdown and I was like, wait, what? How do I not know about this? These notes are so up my alley, but I would have never thought that with this name that they would be the notes because when I see bouquet, I think flowers and I'm not really a floral perfume type of person. So, wow, that was a really long-winded explanation. I'm sorry. So, um, I just love the bottle of this. I love the presentation. So I went ahead and I actually blind bought the small version of this. So I'm going to get my thoughts. I've worn it a few times. I'm going to tell you kind of my, my thoughts on this and just a little bit of my thoughts on luxury niche houses and also kind of YouTube reviews of these fragrances and, and things of that nature, because I feel like there are some things to address and talk about. Before I do that, though, if you would be so kind as to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. I am just a few subscribers away from 400 subscribers, which is very exciting to me. I know that's not a big deal, maybe to some people in the long run, but you know, I've really worked to slowly build my channel, not really have a gimmick or anything besides that I'm limelight last and I like a lot of attention and I like the spotlight, the limelight, all of that. And I do tend to prefer stronger fragrances that get you noticed. But other than that, I keep things pretty simple. I am a teacher, so I do like to educate you about fragrances. I do my homework. I really do my homework. And I've tested quite a few fragrances, especially since I started my YouTube channel about a half year ago. So, you know, I don't, I'm not getting any kind of sponsorships. I don't have any ulterior motives. I just want to bring you the best content and experiences that I can and tell you everything that I know about these fragrances for like the average person who's maybe also obsessed with fragrances, but you might not be able to drop thousands of dollars on luxury perfumes, you know? So if that's your vibe, please subscribe. Oh my God, that was a rhyme. If that's your vibe, please subscribe. Sorry, I'm punchy. I had a couple um, days of teacher in service that were very mind numbing. <laughs> and um, I guess it's affecting my brain. So anyway, let's get to it. So first off, let me show you the presentation. Now, they, they got me with this. They, they got me. They're off. Good job. Because like the box. Hello. Look at how beautiful. It's so pretty and shiny. I love red. I love gold. I mean, they've got it all going on here. Beautiful packaging. Now, this here is just the 30 mil, one ounce 
which retails for $115. The uh, 100 mil is $305. Now, it's definitely not as crazy as some of the other luxury niche houses can be, but it's it's up there. And, you know, if I could have gotten the bigger bottle, especially now knowing that I like it so much, you know, that would have been great, but no. I did, and, and I got this with a coupon. Check out Twisted Lily if you haven't. They usually have coupon codes, even if you just Google coupon codes. So I had a coupon code for it. And it's on Afterpay, so it just made it a little bit more manageable for me. So on the outside, now being an English teacher, I love this. They give a little, they give a little description. Warm and seductive. Bouquet Ideal is composed of a beautifully powdery cashmere accord with mysterious touches of vanilla and papyrus. Magically intoxicating. This orchestration embraces your soul and delivers it to a faraway Mediterranean island where the winds from the south carry the scents of flowers and spices. I don't know about all that. Like, <laughs> it sounds really good. But flowers and spices, yes, that part is on point. And then, of course, I do like how this slides out here. <laughs> Wrong way. Pretty, right? Look at that beautiful bottle and let me take it out of this little and i like that it has like the velvet again presentation it's not everything but it, it definitely helps i love that it has like the gold underneath gold so here's this like teeny little bottle uh you know it's 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 teeny but cute right but it's so pretty i like the embossing on there i actually think it's a really really pretty bottle and um it does have some weight to it so it's nice. So let me go over the note breakdown of Bouquet Ideal. By the way, my mailman just came and <laughs> you can see through my window. He's probably like, what is that crazy person doing holding up perfume? Anyway, so top notes are cinnamon and nutmeg. Mid notes are Gayak wood, sandalwood, Virginia cedar, and papyrus. And the base notes are vanille, coumarin, tobacco blossom, French labdanum, and musk. So I sprayed a little on right before, but I've been wearing this all day. So in the opening for me, I definitely get some tobacco vanille vibes, like as in Tom Ford tobacco vanille, which is in my top three fragrances for life. But it has this extra little interesting element of the cinnamon, which gives it a little more of a kick. It's a little more spicy. And it's also, I don't know, it, it almost has a little bit of, a, you know, a little bit of a florally touch, even though it's really not very floral. It doesn't have much floral as far as the, the note structure, but it's woody, tobacco -y. So the other thing that this makes me think of is like opening a, a cigar box, like a wood cigar box and smelling the combination of that wood and the tobacco. And I love that. I love fragrances that have that vibe, that cigar box, woody, tobacco-y, just goodness. But because it has the vanille and, you know, you have the spiciness of the, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the coumarin, it adds this really nice sweetness, but it is definitely not overly sweet. This, by the way, perfectly unisex. And I, for some reason, I mean, I get a lot of tobacco from this. And then, you know, I didn't watch too many reviews of this. I read some and watched some. And no one really mentioned the tobacco as prominent. I might be picking it up more just because I love tobacco as a note so much. Conversely, though, if you hate tobacco, you might be able to pick it out in a bad way, you know? But if you like very warm, spicy, tobacco-y, slightly sweet fragrances that are just strangely named because I, I, I really have no... I would not name this bouquet, you know? If there's some, if I'm missing something, let me know. I don't know if that's why this 
is named this, but either way, it's a beautiful fragrance. It is really nice for fall and winter. I have enjoyed it the past few times that I've worn it. The tobacco goodness. It's really nice. Now, longevity. It sticks around. I'd say, let's see, when did I put this on? I don't know. I'd say a good like six hours or so where you can detect it. But my only gripe is that it sits pretty close to the skin. So you can smell it. It doesn't quite, it doesn't go into exactly skin scent territory. It's not that faint, but I don't think people who are more than a few feet away from you will be able to smell this. Now, you might like that for this time of year where you're kind of like inside and being all cuddly and snuggly with your loved one and, you know, you're by a fire or something like that. That's what this reminds me of. But it's not like a beast, you know, you're going to walk into a room and everyone's heads are going to turn and it's not like that at all. But again, you know, I just, I happen to like really loud projecting fragrances that make people say, ooh, or even ooh, because it is better to be looked over than overlooked. Mae West, favorite quote. So good. But anyway, um... But it's really nice. And I think if people did come close to you, they would say, oh, you smell really good. So spicy tobacco, much like me, it's cuddly, but also a little bit sassy. Like it does have a little sass to it from the spices. So it's like cuddly, but spicy. So it's not such a, it's not just a straight out vanilla where, you know, it's just cuddly and cookies and things like that. Not like that but it's really nice. It's mature without being too retro smelling or too old lady, which, you know, I hate that. I've addressed that in another video, but you know, so overall beautiful fragrance. Wouldn't get it full price. Um, just it's because it's expensive and it didn't, it didn't blow me away as far as, you know, projection and longevity, but it's really beautiful. It's blended really well. I, so moving on to just this, this house and what I know, it usually has, Zerdoff, it seems like has a pretty good reputation, but I do notice, and I might just be reading way more into it. I might be like conspiracy theorist. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like more YouTubers are coming out and making videos that are a little bit critical of the overconsumption, over pushing, over hyping, you know, and I, I like to gather evidence. Again, I'm a high school English teacher. I do research. I teach research and I like to view all sides of an issue. And I do feel like a suspicious amount of perfume YouTubers push this line and are overly hype about it. But then also, you know, you see them declutter or it's just, there's a whole thing right now in fragrance. And, you know, I try to stay out of like drama and things like that. But again, I don't know if this, if that's true. I have just heard that as a theory that this is one of the lines that maybe give a lot of PR. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I, I would love some PR from Zerdoff. Please give me some. Um, but you know, that could, that could influence your opinion. Like, would I rave about it a little more if they gave this to me? Probably. But this is my own money. This is my honest opinion. I think it's a really, really beautiful scent. If you like anything, even remotely tobacco, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts on certain houses being pushed <laughs> and, um, you know, is sometimes remember that song things that make you go, Hmm. Sometimes you see these videos and it's like, hmm, okay. And yeah, as, as far as consumption, I'm happy to see that there are some YouTubers out there, um, who do get the smaller bottles. Like I really try, unless I know for sure I'm going to use them up. I think it's great when you just get the smaller bottle because yes, is it more of a impressive value to get the 
100 mil for $305, yes, it's an economic savings. But the likelihood of me using an 100 mil bottle when I have like 100 perfumes, that's I, I don't see it happening. So those are just my musings. Again, I would love to engage in a dialogue with you guys about this, especially those of you who are fragrance YouTubers or you just watch a lot of fragrance YouTubers. What are your thoughts? And again, not trying to show pro, not trying to throw shade at anyone in particular or anything like that. It's just sometimes I question when they, certain lines or certain perfumes are hyped up and I try to be really, really honest. I want, I've been meaning to make an honest video, honest video <laughs> about some of the new perfumes that have um, come out and I, you know, I didn't buy them. I actually just smelled them and I feel like they're being really hyped. Like what's the one, the, the new perfumes to Marley, the, Oriana, Oriana, is that the one in a hot pink bottle? That straight up smells like razzles, like the old 80s candy razzles. Like the, it's like, it's a weird candy, by the way. It's like powdery and weird. And then it turns to gum and the flavor lasts for about 10 seconds. And then you have to spit it out. That new perfume from Perfumes <laughs> Marley to me straight up smells like razzles. It smells good. It's super sweet. Is it worth hundreds of dollars to smell like a sweet razzle to me no like I don't think so if someone like handed me a bottle of it for free I'd be like cool I might wear this sometimes but you know what I'm saying Do you know what I'm saying I feel like some things are so overhyped and people jump on the bandwagon and that's just not me I really want to keep it real I don't like being nasty I feel like there's also youtubers who are like really negative to get views or shade everybody to get views. I'm not that either. I'm somewhere in between. Let me know your thoughts. Wow. I've just rambled for so long. If you stuck with me, bless your heart. <laughs> I love you. But anyway, those are my thoughts on this beautiful fragrance. Bouquet Idel from Zerdorf Casamorati line. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance, what you think of it. And you know, I'm going to keep wearing it because this is perfect time for it. I'm loving it. It's finally getting really like chilly here. So it'll be good. So again, thank you to, oh my God. And I just like, <laughs> Whew. luckily it didn't break, which is knocked over. Thank you to those of you who've helped get me this far. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really truly do. And of course I would love if you could share my channel, get me to those 400 subscribers. And I'm really trying to get to the 500 so that I can get, I think you get a community page now at 500. That would be amazing. So thank you so, so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.